Oh, hello, and welcome to another edition of Mountain Visit. Time blue. High drive. Left field. It is out of here. Hey guys, Mr. Coach DJ here with some coachable content. Okay, so. so often I see parents spend in, you know, $300, $400 on bats because it has all this technology and does all this work, but at the same time, your kid's not getting the actual, you know, drills down, the training on actually how to hit and how to use the bat. Um, so you're spending a lot of money on a bat, but you're not getting the proper results. Um, so I want to explain to you and show you uh, something you can do to help you with uh, training and getting your hips open. And this could work at any level. Younger levels obviously is better because it's something that they can learn and keep with them as they get older. Uh, but you can still do it in high school. I do it with high school players. Um, I do it with middle school players. Uh, so it's basically just something to get you to work on opening those hips up. Now I cannot stress enough the importance for using your hips when you're swinging. Um, not only will it add power to your swing, it'll put a little more, you know, more control with your contact. Once you mix all your different drills and exercises together, um, you'll get a better quality swing than just using your arms. All right, so for this little drill, you're gonna need a tee. And if you don't have a tee, that's okay. I'll show you what you can do as a substitution. Um, you're also gonna need a PVC pipe. Um, you use this, something like this. And if you don't have a pipe, that's okay. You use your bat. And uh, I usually like to use something a little bit longer. Uh, because usually on bigger players, um, it's harder to get, you know, your hands behind you. So that's what we're going to do with that. Um, but if that's all you have, your bat, that's fine. <clears throat> and then you're going to need some tennis balls. Good throw. You're going to need uh, some tennis balls. Um, if you don't have tennis balls, that's fine. We can also use soccer ball. Um, so anything like similar, like soccer ball, volleyball, um, something similar. Uh, as long as it's not too hard because you're going to be uh, slapping with your bare hand. If you're, if you're alone, if you just, you know... If you have all the proper equipment and you're by yourself, you can actually just do this alone. You can do it solo. So if you have a tee, um, if you have your, you know, your tennis balls, if you have a pipe or a bat or something like that, you can. You don't even need a partner for this. Um, but if you know, if you don't have the tee, then you will need a partner. You know, it could be anybody. They're basically just going to do uh, soft toss to you. Uh, you'll do the same thing. Uh, so if it's if you have a tee, then you're good. And if you don't have a tee, or yeah, if you don't have a tee, you need a partner. Um, but even if you have a partner, it's also still good to uh, use off a tee if you have one um, or if you have some sort of uh, device that you can have. I know I've seen some people have a string, you know, tennis ball hanging from a string or something like that. If you're able to do that, you could do this in a garage. Um, you could do it in your bedroom. It doesn't have to be, you know, out in the open um, just as long as you have the space, you know, for yourself to, to, to turn. Um, so you can even do this inside if it's raining too hot, something like that. So I have here set up tennis ball. Um, this basic drill, so basically you get your, your pipe behind you, behind your back, and you want your, you know, basically your elbows, the crease of your elbows kind of in where the pipe is or where the bat, the bat is, and you want to be able to get your hands out. Um, so this is, you know, works for either left or right-handed. Um, and we, we want to get close enough to the plate or close enough to where the ball is so that we actually can hit it with our hands. Um, the, the purpose of this is you, I want you taking steps and you're, you're, you want to open up your body to use those hips <clears throat> Use those hips, open your body up, get your, you know, your chest exposed, get your chest flat. So it's, you get that full extension, you know, so you get a little power behind your swing. So here's the demonstration. So just like that. So like I said, if you have a partner, partner could just set you back up, put another ball in there. Uh, if not, of course, you got to do it yourself. Um, no big deal. But take a few reps at those and make sure you get that full extension out um, and just keep working at it. So from here, so now I took the tee out. Now I'm working with a partner who's gonna soft toss me the ball. And they, you wanna get them to kinda toss you the ball in that same spot right there. And if you don't hit it, it's fine. It's still, you still wanna get this motion. It's the ball's there to give you something to actually kinda aim for and have some, a, a, re, a response, immediate response, immediate feedback from when you're actually hitting. Wow. 
So if you don't have a tennis ball, like I said, you use something like this, it'll slow your reps down because you gotta go retrieve unless you got, you know, five soccer balls or something like that, that's fine. But now I'm gonna show you with a soccer ball. Okay, so now I'm gonna use uh, one of my younger players. Uh, he's gonna go through a demonstration. Um, and what I recommend for a tee or anything with your height, always adjust the height if you need to. Um, you don't want players going too low, trying to, you know, basically uppercut. Uh, that's a bad swing. And you don't want to go too high where they're adjusting their natural kind of uh, twist of their torso. So that's it for this coachable content. Keep working on your swing. Keep opening those hips up. Drink water. Thank you for being coachable.